Someone made a puzzle game called Safe Room based on it. Well, that's cool. So where am I? I'm here. Okay, so we're in the spot that I need to be. Yeah, because I completely forgot about this. I completely forgot about this, but there is a thing here where you can do this and you actually do get something that's worth it. You get, as you can see, three things of explosive grenade ammo. Which I would never refuse, personally. So it's worth it. Yeah, it's quite the stash. It actually is worth it. And, you know, just for the sake of completion, we're going to open this lock. I don't need to go through that door ever, but we'll do that just, just in case someone ever does, right? In case there's another survivor trying to get through, we got them covered. We'll unlock all the doors, right? We'll unlock all the locks for them. Oh, man. Oh, man, I ran into that one. Oh, my God, no. Oh, my God. Why am I so... Why? Why? Why do... Why? I'm... Why? I need to keep shit on me. I need to keep... I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna heal and I'm gonna save. Why don't I just shoot my damn gun? Why don't I just do that? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me with, with, with the Resident Evils? Hmm. So we'll use you first and foremost. And I think now based on what my, what my ammo guide tells me, I don't know if I need the reload tool. I might, but if I do this, now I get some acid rounds. But I don't know. You know what? Actually, that might that might not be worth it. I mean, I want some acid rounds. Because I they're just better, right? Yeah, you know, I think this is okay. Oh, actually, actually, technically, I did an inefficiency just then. Because uh, if I if I used two Bs, I could have actually turned six grenade rounds into 12 acid rounds. So technically, what I did was inefficient, but that's OK. We're we're learning. We're relearning this thing. Um, and I don't really have enough Bs to justify that. Six acid rounds should be fine for the moment anyway. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I really do kind of wonder, though, why I feel like I'm going... Like, why I'm at the skin of my teeth when it comes to health and ammo. Why do I feel like that, despite the opposite being kind of true, that I am fine? Like, even compared to RE2 and RE3, I never, or RE2 and RE1, I never, besides RE1 and ammo, like, near the beginning, I don't think I ever really felt, like, this pressed for ammo and health. So, like, right now, I have one full heal. And I have, you know what, I actually have decent ammo. You know what, yeah, I'm actually doing good on ammo. I'm just pressed for health. But I have two full, no, I have two full heals. You know, I'm not even pressed for health. We're fine, we're fine. So. Now we go to leave. So go back up that way. Cause if I remember correctly now, this is me trying to remember. I want to say Nemesis probably shows up again. Be and it's kind of, like, to be honest with you, it's kind of... 
kind of, damn it, formulaic in that regard. Damn it. It's kind of formulaic in that regard because I'm thinking of it like, okay, well, I'm going to progress the story. So Nemesis is probably going to show up. Okay, that's my line of thinking. But I think with Acid Rounds, I don't think he'll be that bad. Because I think Acid, I think Acid Rounds deal the most damage to him. Besides the Magnum. The Magnum will always be the exception. But I think Acid Rounds hurt him a lot. I think Freeze Rounds are good too, but I don't remember if they're like heavy damage dealers or if they just do like a special thing i feel like they do a special thing but they're not like heavy damage dealers i really don't remember really don't remember either way let's grab my stuff so uh so i'm keeping my shotgun on me So I need these. I think I will actually take my grenade launcher with my acid rounds. And see, it's something that I like too about RE3 that isn't in RE2, I guess, that you can just take out your grenade rounds and just swap them. Because I think in theory, a grenade launcher can hold like 99, which makes it really good. Yeah, I'm almost I'm almost wondering if I'm missing gunpowder somewhere. Like if I just haven't been finding all the gunpowder I can. I I think I have been though. I think this is all I need for the trolley. No, I need the fuse. I need the fuse. I also need the fuse. I'll take the fuse. I'll take one full heal. And that's probably about all I need. Cause let's be real, probably gonna use the full heal on Nemesis. Now if we're going toward the trolley, need to... Eh, 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 eh. So I cleared out this area of zombies. You know, now that I think about it, I don't really remember Resident Evil 3 having that many bosses besides Nemesis, which makes a lot of sense now that I think about it in hindsight. You know, it's like, well, Nemesis is kind of the main big bad and he shows up a lot. So technically you have more boss fights in the game. You just don't have them with anyone other than Nemesis. Which makes a lot of sense. I like that. Now, when did I save? Nah, we'll be fine. I hope. I hope we'll be fine. I hope we'll be fine. You can count them as bosses? Yeah. Pretty much, right? Like, he doesn't die, but... Stars. Oh! Hey, Nemesis! Oh, this is a pain in the ass, I bet. Damn it. Oh, this is gonna be a bad place to fight him. I can already tell. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna slam him with Nemesis, please. Oh 
Oh my god, yeah, I think he's got me killed. This is a really hard place to fight him, Jesus. Um You know what? I think actually I think I'm fighting him wrong because I think he No! I think you can fight him in here and it's just much better because you can use the statue to fuck him up. Ah, uh, well, if you're actually good. Uh. Damn. Uh, uh. No, since you're killing Jill very inefficiently. <laughs> uh let's see um how does the remake handle nemesis are they necessarily scripted so from what i remember when i played the remake i think i think the remake is i don't so i think it kind of does a very similar thing to what this one does well no not really i i'm pretty sure the stuff with the, with nemesis and the remake is you have some scripted fights but you also have fights that um, are, j he'll just show up. He's a lot like Mr. X, right? What the was that? That was a weird sound in my head. Yeah, so I think I was just going back. So actually, let's just go ahead and do all of this right now. I'll just take all my stuff. Nah, that's a pain in the ass though. That's a fight that I'm not look. That's a fight that might actually be kind of hard. I'll need I'll, now that I remember to get him around the statue though. I think it'll be a bit easier. So I'm missing. Uh, I'm missing the the machine oil, but I wanna. wanna Combine this. What the hell is that? It's not. It's not, it's not me, right? I'm hearing like this weird like every now and again. I'll see what happens again. I don't think it has to do with the capture either. I'm not too sure what it could be. Oops. Ah, oh, this is gonna be hard. So. I think we're good to go. But yeah, I think uh, I think the the stuff with Nemesis in RE3 the remake is just he shows up occasionally, he'll chase you and be very good at it, and then he'll kind of quote unquote lose you. I did it again, and then he'll quote unquote lose you, and then he'll eventually find you again. Um, but you have some scripted fights with them. So I actually, I think they actually do Nemesis in the remake better, personally. Just because I like that he shows up. Like in this one, yeah, like he'll show up sometimes in random spots, but a lot of time you can kind of guess where he'll show up. In the remake, it's not quite like that. I prefer how they did it in the remake with Nemesis. Um... Let's see, best actresses anyways, I gotta go again. Hope it all goes well. Well, thank you very much. And I'm sure once again, we will catch you a little bit later. And thank you for popping in, by the way. I appreciate it. I know you've been very busy. So I, I really appreciate it when you can pop in and just say, you know, say your hellos and stuff. Okie dokie. Oh, my phone's going off for some reason. Don't know why. It's okay. Ignore it. Well, I don't think you guys could hear it anyway. But if you could, ignore it. Yeah, we took care of the zombies here. Well, so we are actually doing pretty solid. Oh, that's going to be such a pain to fight him, though. That's going to be really hard. Oh, 
like I will say, out of all the Nemesis fights that I've done so far, this one I'm probably dreading the second most. The first one was the most dreaded because that one was just, you know, really, really hard, right? That one was just difficult. And I knew that one was going to be really hard. This one, this one, I just, I, I know I can do. But in the small confined space, it's, it's going to be really difficult. But if I get him around the statue, then maybe. Because I can run around the statue, I think, right? No, I cannot. So it, it's still going to be bad. I just need to get distance. If I can get distance on him... Stars. One, two. Ah, I dodged, but it still didn't work. Oh my God, I can't, I can't do anything. I think I need to heal. I think he tried to dodge me there. I can't bait him into picking me up anymore either. Okay, good. He threw me out. That's good. Oh my God. Oh, Nemesis. Oh, he dodged it. I hate when he does that. Okay, thanks for... Thanks for our lucky dodges. They still don't really help that much. Okay, we got him down once, but this is still gonna be really, really, really hairy. wonder because i know he can follow you to other areas i kind of wonder if maybe it makes sense to run past him here because i because so far i've been fighting nemesis in in the areas that he appears in but i can fight him in other locations because as we've seen he does chase you through doors so i'm kind of thinking maybe this area is just really hard to fight him in and that I should try to not fight him here. I'm trying to remember what I did before, though, like when I was younger. I'm pretty sure I did kill him in those areas. I'm pretty sure. But I could also be misremembering. That is, that is very, very much a possibility. It's also possible that I'm wrong about the grenade launcher being good. So, well, no, it, it's good, but like a good in against Nemesis like that. Um, so he fights me there. Would fighting him, I can't fight him by the gas station. If I can pull him out into that other hall, then maybe, maybe that's better. Cause maybe there's more space. Or I could pull him, oh, you know, I could probably try to pull him out into the area, like, right here. I could maybe do that. That might make the most sense. If I can do that, if he'll let me do that. I will be honest, I didn't think he'd actually be that hard with this encounter. I thought he'd be, I thought he would go down to my six acid rounds. So I'm actually a little bit taken aback and a little bit surprised. No. 
I hate these zombies. These zombies suck booty. Okay, only bitten once though. Only bitten once this time. Maybe the pistol is just better. I don't know, because it, it shoots really fast. But I feel like acid rounds would be better though. It's probably, oh, well, mm, pistol, mm. Yeah, it's really weird to think that the pistol might be better than the shotgun against Nemesis. Because it shoots so slowly. If it didn't shoot as slowly, it wouldn't be that bad. Hmm. Hmm. It's like it takes less than 30 bullets to down Nemesis. I don't know, pistol yeah, upgraded pistol might just be one of my better weapons. Like, interestingly enough, that might be the best way to kill Nemesis. Because I know 30 bullets knocks him down. A 30 bullets knocks him down, and I shoot those 15 bullets in the gun really quickly. Maybe acid and handgun? Acid rounds mixed with handgun in an open area, and I might actually be able to beat him. If he'll even come to that area, he might not. I assume he does. But if I can do that, then that should be good. And because I, because getting him down now would actually, it would give me a lot. It, it would give me a lot because I think it gives me the B parts for the other gun, which I know is going to be really good. I may not remember exactly what it is. I can have a guess based on what the stock looked like, I guess. Stars. No. Okay, if he chases me out here, then I think I'm good. I think I'll be okay. He is not. Well, shit. Maybe he only chases me if I continue going forward. Maybe I gotta fight him here then. Oh, now he's just not here. No, he is. Oh, please stop chasing me. This might be a failed run already. Oh, dude. It's so, it's so hard. I didn't take shit. I didn't take the grenade, uh, grenade launcher out. And I de I unequip my gun. Man, what, man, what is going on with me? What is wrong with me right now? He's unrelenting. Oh my god, he's unrelenting, dude. Uh, 
Oh, come on. Oh, I think, you know what? I do think the pistol might be the best weapon for him. Because I actually knocked him down fairly, fairly, quote unquote, easily. I might just move Mather safe closer. I might move my other save a bit closer. If I if I don't get bitten that much, I might do that. I might waste ink ribbons. Man, this is a hard one. It's because he keeps going at you. He doesn't stop. How did I do this before? I know I've... I'm, I'm... Let's see, look, that looks like a shotgun thing. So that looks like a shotgun part. Um, mm. Hold on. I do want to. I do want to put this away. No, there is something about this room that's making making the sound go weirdly crunchy sometimes. I'm not too sure why. Okay, so how am I gonna fight him? How do I fight Nemesis? I could dodge well even dodging isn't really helping in that i did dodge a few times he'd still grab me because of how narrow the place is i could run past him but that doesn't really do much i don't think it gets me to a different area but even then, I don't know if he'll chase me. And I don't know if it's a good area. And I know I've beaten him here before. Because I do remember that as a kid. Like, since like now I've seen where he spawns in. Now I do remember this. I think... I think you want to fight him. You don't want him to run at you. But I think you want him to kind of chase you down the long-ish corridor. And then if need be, you can duck into the room with the statue. I think. So if that's the case, then I can use... My grenade launcher, assuming he doesn't dodge all of them, since he can. I forgot he can do that. And then I guess I swapped the pistol. Well, I could down him with the pistol and then grenade him on the ground. Because so that's probably better than shotgunning him. See, you know it's serious when we are going full on strategy with killing one one boss, right? And you know, uh you know I think it's going to be tough when I'm actually considering wasting a save just to get closer to him. I mean, we got bitten once. If I don't get crowed, I'll probably save. Well, I ran into that crow. Okay, well, fuck it. I, okay, I won't save. I won't save then. It, it multi-crowed me. So I, I think the game's trying to tell you, don't save. Don't save. You'll be fine. Ooh. 
Okay, I think we have the strat. I think we have the strat. I really think we have the strat. Ah, he's just gonna be such a pain. He just grabs you like crazy. I'm gonna need to bait him into grabbing me more too, I think. Well, like grabbing me when I'm on the ground. I'm gonna need to bait that. If I can do that, then I should be good. But yeah, I don't think standing my ground is gonna really help, to be honest. Mm. Honestly, how do they even expect you to to do this? By the way, for anyone that doesn't know, right? Uh, you do only get his item drops on hard mode. That you don't actually get them on easy. That, that was kind of another another reason I wanted to go hard mode. I don't know if I said that earlier. I don't think I did. Stars. No, turn, Jill. Ah, uh, I can't. I can't have him run at me. I'm gonna need to heal. Oh, he's not gonna let me. Come on, get get off. Oh, I think I need to heal. I don't think I can have, can have him throw me again. I think if he does, he just wins. Seven. Throw me. Nah. Bait him. Bait him. Knocked him down. We knocked him down. We knocked him down and we're still on fine health. Oh no. I need to just shit. Ugh. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, we did it. Oh! Mm, hold on, I got, I got like, some gunk in my nose. Hold on, one sec. Oh. Where's the nearest save? Is it safe to go back that way? It is, isn't it? Oh my god, dude. Please don't let there be any zombies that spawned here. Please just let it be safe. Please, please, please just let it be safe. There's crows. I'm not dying to crows. I'm not dying to crows. I don't care if I waste my ammo here. I'm not dying to crows. I will die to lots of other things. I am not gonna die to crows. Oh. 
Oh my god. Uh. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea just just how how relieved I am. I'm relieved. So I have uh, kind of two ways I can go about this now. I can put my shotgun in there and use this one. Ah, oh, it's a Western custom. That looks sexy. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use up the ammo in this shotgun. And then I'm going to swap out. Just so I don't accidentally use any of that ammo. So I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I'll find more gunpowder. Right now I am officially out of healing items. Um, apart from the one red herb, which isn't a healing item itself, but could be one. Uh, so hopefully, oh, I have two red herbs. You know what? I have two possible healing items. So I can't feel bad about that. And I have one blue, so I'm good in case I get poisoned as well. No, I'm going to save. I'm going to save. That's a, that's a save worthy moment. Cause that one's really hard. That's a save worthy moment. <sighs> oh, you know, just it's just the relief. Yeah, if you're wondering like why I'm just going like, Ugh. it's just the relief of it all. Cause that's a hard fight. That's a really hard fight. And the weird thing with a lot of these nemesis fights is it feels like, like honestly, you could probably even say they're like poorly designed. I don't know. I wouldn't really say that personally, but a lot of them, maybe I'm just playing bad too. That's also a possibility. It's possible I'm just playing these like garbage, but there is working. So, but a lot of the kind of nemesis fights to an extent are stand your ground and just kind of beat him up. Cause otherwise, I think you'll just take more damage if you if you try to fight him like a badass, right? Or if you try to fight him like you normally would. With the running and the dodging. Because a lot of his fights are in such enclosed areas that I feel like dodging is just hard. Like, even in that one, I was hitting some of my dodges. Oh. Wait a minute. A sudden, a sudden memory just came to me. I did save, so I think I'll be fine. We'll take the risk. If I die here, it's fine. The worm. Oh. Oh, he can hit me from there? How much did that hurt? Not much. I think I need to bait him a bit. Switch to the ladder seems it's not functioning due to the lack of power. Oh, because I need to hit those, that's right. Still trying to bite me. Oh, 
Okay, you know what? This guy might actually not be that hard. I just don't know if I have the ammo for him. I might. Okay, well, that's fine. I, I, that's fine. So whatever. I, I, I know. I know what to go in there with. You know what? I actually brought in some Halloween, uh, some Halloween candy that the kids did not get. The kids when they came to my house, because I had a lot left over. So I'm just gonna have this as like a slight victory, a slight victory chocolate for beating Nemesis. It's cookies and cream, Hershey's cookies and cream. Uh, apparently Megan doesn't like them, so I kind of eat them all myself because I like cookies and cream. Mm. How could no one like? How could you not like cookies and cream? It's so good. My cookies and cream is just tasty. I don't know. Resident Evil 3. Yeah, I'm actually, um... I actually have, like, some nostalgia for cookies and cream, uh, the chocolate, like Hershey's. Because, and I probably talked about this on stream before, but my dad used to do curling. And um, whenever my mom and I would go down to the, the curling rink with them, we would usually just hang out. And I would remember we, one of my favorite things about actually going was we would go to the vending machine and get some chocolate. And I always, I, th I think I always got Hershey's cookies and cream. And I was just always, I don't know why, like that, like, like out of all things to become like a bit of a core memory of mine, I don't know why that is, but that's always been a memory of mine, going down to the curling rink and getting a cookies and cream chocolate bar while my dad did curling. I really don't know why, but like, that's always stuck with me for some reason. Put a melted chocolate on my thumb. Don't want to dirty up my controller. That would be, that'd be a poor gamer of me if I did that. And you know, the funny thing is that's really all I remember about the curling ring too, is just the cookies and cream chocolate. Because I remember the... It had like this kind of long... I guess like hallway-ish area. I guess it was like a main hall. And he had like, I think a window that looked into the curling rink. But I don't remember... I don't remember ever seeing my dad like actually curl. I mostly just remember like... Talking with my mom. Sitting down on the chairs. And I remember the cookies and cream Hershey's bar. But I don't really remember my dad curling. It's kind of weird now. Now that now like now that I think about it, it's a little strange. Still a good memory though. You know, time with the family. Can't really ever go wrong. One more shot? Yeah, I do. I think as long as we do this, I, th I think this is like 
a way to win is you just kind of kind of brute force them like this or you can win like this granted i don't know if that's the recommended way Probably recommended that you at least have a little bit of health, like healing items. I don't think the third one's hitting him. Is he dead? Yeah, we beat him. Yeah, it works. I don't know if he's dead, but he's defeated, so it, it works. Whatever, it's fine. An emergency power generator. Will you push the switch? I will. Ended on yellow caution. I think that's fine. So I think in theory, you can actually do this while the worm's attacking you. I don't remember the name of the worm either. It's not Gravedigger. I think Gravedigger is a different one. What is the name of this one? Hold on. I closed the tab, but I want to I want to find out the name of this worm. Um No, no, it says Grave Digger. It does say Grave Digger on this. Maybe it is Grave Digger. I thought Grave Digger was a different one. I don't recall. I will look later. Yeah, I think you can do that while the worm's attacking you and you don't need to actually beat it. I just think it's really hard and probably isn't worth the effort. I think I think you can do that though. Let's see, Rengar. Hold on, excuse me. Rengar0406. Welcome to the stream, friendo. Hopefully you're doing well today. And thank you very much for the follow. Thank you very, very much for the follow. Ooh, you came in at a good time. We've beaten... One of the harder Nemesis fights, from what I recall. And now we're making some actual progress, which is good. I like progress. I like progressing in video games. Oh. It's kind of mean to throw, like, the worm boss on you, like, right after fighting one of the harder Nemesis fights, though. Love Resident Evil. Resident Evil is good. It's such a such a good game. It really is. I love Resident Evil as well. Mechanics memo. Uh, we read this already because it's talking shit about Kevin. Probably deserved. Oil additive alone does not seem to be enough for this machine. That's right. We need to mix them. That's right. Yeah, it's mixed oil. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix my oils. There you go. I got mixed oil now. Let's go ahead and use this. Bring your old back memories. Ah, oh, dude, that's awesome. Uh, well, you gotta love it when a game can bring back memories, right? Like, it's so, so nice. I have a lot of good memories of the Resident Evil games as well. It looks like we're ready to go. Hey, Carlos. Here, take this. Oh, thanks. What is it? Yeah, I will take these. <laughs> I'll gladly take these. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. Okay. Sounds good, Carlos. How you doing, uh, Mikhail? No, don't come any closer. Stay away. Okay. Mikhail's still going through some going through some trouble. This is like the first time I almost had a heart attack. Oh boy. Well, that's not good, but the games were. It's looking good. The games really were scary back then, eh? This honestly, this stomach we jump a little bit even now. Interestingly enough, I didn't think they would. Oh, was this Mikhail? Mikhail, are you okay, Mikhail? Well, let's go and see what's up. What is it, Mikhail? Oh no. 
Oh, shit. I need to fight him? No, man. No way. No way. I didn't think I had to fight him. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I think I'm dead here. Well, damn it. Shit, I forgot you had to fight him on the trolley car. I completely forgot about that. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Well, let me let me think about how I want to tackle this then, because I don't have healing items anymore. Resident Evil 3. Shit. I know he he doesn't take as much damage, I don't think, to go down. Okay, so I need to fight the worm again. That's that's the only the only thing here is I need to fight the worm again. Hmm. Well, damn nemesis! I know, right? Yeah, I I completely forgot you had to fight him in in the trolley car. Oh, hmm. Well, shoot! How am I gonna do this? I can do it. It's just gonna be a pain. It's gonna be a pain. I don't have healing items. I, like, I don't. Oh, man. How did younger me do this? No problem. But older me is like, oh, geez. I'm, I'm struggling. This is on hard mode, yeah. Um. Well, I guess part of what I need to do is not take as much damage during the worm fight. Uh, probably take the Western custom just so I can use it on Nemesis if need be. Mm. What am I looking for? I'm looking for my, my grenade rounds. Those are like way up here. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't take as much as many shots. I know he doesn't. I probably need to get him to the point where he's downed once, and that's probably it. But if I don't take any damage from the worm. Remembering the nonstop deaths back then in hard mode? Yeah, uh, like, you know, Rengar, the funny thing is. I remember when I was younger, I remember having some struggle, but I don't remember struggling this much. Right? So it's kind of all coming back to me, like just how hard Nemesis actually is, like as an enemy and as a game, right? It's nice, if I'm being honest. It's kind of nice. Because I feel like I, I was really expecting to kind of breeze through this. I'm, I'm going to be real, right? I was expecting this to be like, oh, yeah, it'll be, uh, some parts will be difficult. But I completely forgot about some of these actual hard fights. Because you have the Nemesis fight here by the statue, which if you want the item, you have to do. Which I want the items, so I did. Then you have the Gravedigger fight like right after that. Which isn't really hard, but, you know, it's still a fight that it expects you to do. And then you have Nemesis on the trolley, which completely slipped my mind, but that's also a necessary fight. So, like, oh, boy. This can be done. I just need to count my shotgun shells. I just need to count my shots, too. If I count my shots, I, I don't want to waste, because I don't want to waste ammo, right? I don't want to waste shotgun shells. In an inferior shoddy. Ooh, okay. Okay, we got it this time, though. We got it this time. The game is just mean. I love it. 
I love it, don't get me wrong, but it's so mean. It's much meaner than I remember. Okay, one, two, and then run away. So that's what we're gonna do. Three, damn it, four. I don't know if that fourth one hit. I don't think the fourth one hit. Well, well that was just a waste of a shotgun shell. Six. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where my seven is. Okay, seven. If I can get out of here without using, without going down to caution. One. Okay, you know what? You know what, Jill? That was a good dodge I didn't intend to do. So it's so a well done to you. So I think three shots and then it, there are two shots and then it retreats. One. So now I think we got this pattern. One, two. One, two. Okay, did we do it? I think we did it. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Okay, so already we're doing a little bit better. A little bit better. I think we even have extra grenade rounds, I think. Okay, okay, so Nemesis, huh? Oops, power is being supplied. Good, good. Uh, so your anger says, yeah, background music makes it more scary, though. It does. It does. Background music adds a lot to this game, too. Okay, okay. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. Nemesis can be beaten. Now, do I want to go in with grenades or go in with shotgun? I don't know what should be better. I'm thinking shotgun. I'm thinking shotgun. But Carlos does give me flame rounds, and I don't know if that's trying to give me a hint that flame rounds on Nemesis work really good. I feel like... I think shotgun... I think shotgun. I don't know how fast it fires. I think it goes pretty fast. Which, if that is the case, then that probably is the way to go. Okay, it looks like that. we're ready to go. Here, take this. Thank you, Carlos. I will take the flame rounds. Okay. Uh, Nikolai. I skip this now. Joining us. I understand. Oh, okay, okay. I gotta get prepped. The cable car. I gotta go. get prepped. Cause if we just go boom, 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 hopefully he'll go down, no problem. I see. I don't remember the trolley fight being. See, the fact that I don't remember it at all must mean it, it can't be that bad. Cause I I feel like I remember the stuff that goes wrong the most, right? So if I don't remember it, it can't be that bad. So I'm trying to think what I would have done back in the day. I think I think I did use the shotgun. I think I did just stand my ground and hope for the best. I probably got hit a couple times, but I think this should be good. How do you even get on here, Nemi? 